There's this common idea that hypnosis is a very unusual state of mental hijack. The truth is rather removed from that. In fact, hypnosis or hypnotic trance or the trance state is something that happens very naturally. When, when you already know how to drive, all you generally need to do is think about where you're going and you kind of mentally point your car in that direction and then if you're talking with somebody or if you're doing something or tending to studying or you've got a meeting going on while you're on the car, you automatically just find yourself through the traffic and then suddenly, well, you don't, you almost don't remember driving or consciously driving and yet there you are, automatically at where you want it to be. And all you had to do is you have your rational or conscious or logical or parental mind decide where you're going and then kind of set the automatic, irrational, emotional, automatic mind take care of the rest of the functions and given that the unconscious mind is the one that takes care of all these automatic functions, you just kind of tell it what to do and then bingo. You have gone through what a lot of people call a driving trance or a commuting trance and then you're just automatically without really knowing all the details of it, you're at where you need to be. So, hypnosis or hypnotic trance or trance is something that occurs very naturally. And this despite all the fear that's going on around it. So, let's put it in another way. When you have a therapeutic alliance, when you have an allowed for hypnotic interaction, what happens is that rather than somebody hijacking your mind, you allow for somebody to help you out by kind of like outsourcing certain decision-making processes. You surrender voluntarily control. So it's rather than like you're completely hijacked, it's more of like a dance, a give and take, an allowing where it becomes of utmost importance that you're with a hypnotherapist that you trust because they are, after all, in that therapeutic alliance, hypnotic state, going to kind of be like you. They're essentially going to help guide you through a process where you find yourself automatically changing. And this isn't possible without that very deep level of trust and rapport that can only really happen in a therapeutic alliance that is really something you develop and strengthen through time. So I hope this kind of makes sense to you guys and let me know if you've got any questions. Cheers.